So hello everyone. Welcome to this new session. So today we are going to discuss with one more important concept of force. This is force, okay? If it's not visible, I'm telling you. Force between differential current elements. Okay. Yeah. So this we are going to discuss, and uh, uh, along with that, uh, we have left a few topics in the module three. Okay. Uh, very simple and small topics. So magnetization and permeability and uh, magnetic field intensity. Okay. Those two topics uh, along with this we are going to discuss. Okay. So I had left that topic. I had forgot to do it. So please uh, let's uh, do that topic now. So before that, let's uh, do this topic that is force between differential current elements. So this is very very important. Uh, uh, asked question in the exam multiple times repeated. Okay. So this is the simple notes that uh, uh, I have got. Okay. So I'm just going to explain this now. So now what is this force between differential current elements? Okay. So we know that in the word they have mentioned it as differential current elements. So we can see that we are having two of the differential current elements, I1 dl1 along with I2 dl2. Okay. And uh, the path which is separating the differential current, uh, the current element is called as R12. So here we can see these two lines, and here we have drawn one path that is called as R12. This is represented as loop one, and this is represented as loop two. Okay. And these are the two differential current uh, current elements uh, which are uh, moving in an opposite direction. That is, this is moving in this direction, I1 dl1, and this I2 dl2 is moving in this direction downwards. This is moving upwards. This is moving downwards. Okay. So this is all about the brief figure here. So now let's see the concept. The magnetic field at point Z uh, is the current element of point uh, one is given by dh two. That is, this is for, from this loop we can say that is given as dh two is equal to i one dl one cross ar one two. That is, ar one two represents the unit vector of this uh, uh, direction here which is specified divided by four pi into magnitude of r one two. Square. Okay, this is similar to the uh, uh, what to say Coulomb's law derivation, where in the denominator part we need to be uh, ha having the square of the magnitude that is R12 square of the two differential paths. Okay, so this in this way the magnetic field at point Z due to current element is given by dh. Okay, this formula uh, we need to remember. So now differential force on differential current element is also given by differential force. So we it will be represent it as dh vector. That is given as I D L I D L cross D vector, where this L is the length of this uh, two loop cross B. B represents the magnetic field intensity. Okay. Therefore, the differential force on current element due to the point Z is also given by D F two is equal to I two D L two cross D B two. Okay. So since here D B two is uh, corresponding to mu two into D H two, that is we know that B is uh, is equal to mu Mu times h, that is the property of magnetic uh, field in the uh, magnetic flux density, which we are going to discuss uh, in a few minutes later. So before that only, they have shown uh, uh, this relation that is d b two is equal to mu two into d h two. So this relation is again very important. This comes from the relation of b is equal to mu times h. Okay, that is the relation of magnetic uh, flux density. We need to be knowing. So since I have not discussed it, I am I am going to discuss that in this uh, video only. Okay, so to stay stay tuned. So we obtain force between two differential current elements. Okay, that is the the difference of that is derivative of this uh, differential current uh, force that is the uh, d f two is equal to mu naught times i one i two that is the current uh, induced by these two loops that is i one and i two divided by four pi into magnitude of r one two square that is the direction of uh, propagation. Its magnitude of R12 square, it's DL2 into DL1 cross AR12. Okay, this is given as the uh, uh, derivative of this differential current uh, element, differential force. So therefore, the total force between two filamentary circuits is obtained by integrating twice. Okay, so here we have since we have here d into d, so we have d square. So in order to eliminate that d square, we need to integrate this twice. So so we can get our force. Okay. That's why therefore force is equal to mu naught into i one i two divided by four pi take it outside it's a constant into the integral of this is the closed line integral line integral over a closed path is given by d l two cross again integration of d l one cross a r one a r one two divided by r one two square okay so therefore uh, if we simplify this this is the term which we obtain that is uh, f force f is given by mu naught into i one i two divided by four pi into 
integration of integration of again uh, dl2 uh, we need to take it uh, that side i've taken this uh, dl2 to the other side cross dl2 you can see here integration of ar12 cross dl1 divided by magnitude of r12 square into dl2 so this is the relation of differential force um, due to the differential current element so please note this formula down this is a very important uh, derivation and very important question also okay so this was all about force between differential current element okay hope you have understood this we will derive the poisson's and laplace equation we know that uh, del dot d is equal to rho v this is from gauss law take this as equation 1 now also we know that d is equal to epsilon v this is from electric field density substitute d in one instead of d we substitute uh, epsilon e then it becomes del dot epsilon e is equal to rho v take this as equation 2 now we know that electric field intensity that is e is equal to negative gradient of v so substitute e in 2 now instead of e we substitute negative gradient of v by further simplifying that uh, epsilon goes this side then it becomes rho v divided by epsilon and here del del get uh, multiplied so del square v is equal to here uh, to remove negative side negative sign we have to uh, apply negative sign on both side now this becomes positive and this becomes negative this is our poisson equation now for uh, laplace equation uh, in laplace equation rho v is equal to 0 then this whole term becomes 0 this is our laplace equation now uh, del square v is uh, different for uh, different coordinate system for rectangular coordinate system it is equal to dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square plus dou square v by dou x dou z square and this is the equation for uh, cylindrical coordinate system and this is the equation for uh, spheric spherical coordinate system uh, please make a note on this this is the important formula we will use in the problem